Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm on the XG25 paver from Dynapack. Highway paver, folks, but highway paver with a difference. This is super connected with the Leica Geosystems 3D machine control. But where are the experts to help me figure out how this works? I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to pavers. Better find them. They'll be back. So I've found the experts, folks. Sunker here, you are the expert on this machine. Now, I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to pavers. First of all, tell me what the capability of this machine is and why it's so important for the customers. So actually, a paver is super easy. You put asphalt <laughs> in in the front, yep. you have a conveyor pulling it to the back, then you have an auger system spreading it, then you have the so-called screed, which actually does the compaction, and then you have the road. It's so that easy. People talk to me about tampers and stuff like that, yes. and speeds yes. and things like that. Yes. So what, what's that all about? So the tamper is basically like a small hammer that always hammers on the asphalt to get a compaction in it. Right. Behind that, you have a vibration unit that gives like some vi like slight vibes yep. to get some massage. Yeah, you know that? Yep. Into, so, the, into the material. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you massage the material yep. and that forces basically the aggregates to relocate and to interlock and then you have final compaction. And that's how a paper works. Right, so now a paver, when it's connected, is a different paver altogether, isn't it, Mark? So like a 3D machine control here, obviously we know now we can put models into this. So we can model the highway project, can't we? Tell me about how that works. Okay, so we take the design, the CAD design that probably originates from, from the construction company. Yep. We provide that, we, we prepare it ready for the, the paver, yep. and, and then we load it onto the panel. And so what is the big issue that I know, actually, I've been on site with the paver, people standing, particularly at night, close to the edge when you're doing highway work. It is quite dangerous. Now we're solving that problem, aren't we? Tell me how we're doing it. Absolutely. So it's basically what we already know from agriculture. We take a center line for the machine yep. that the machine follows. Yep. And then we have an attachment, which in this case is discrete, yep. that has adjustment possibilities and yep. we make the screed adjust based to Mark's design. So and then we create a road, but very important, without people standing next to the machine. So right. they are all safe in safe environments. Fantastic. Now Mark, we're, we're talking about how does it work, right? We've got the tablet here, but there's other things that we need to connect in to make this system work. How do we make it work and what else is on the machine? So firstly, to interface with the machine, we use a, a, a CAN interface, right. which directly plugs into the machine. So there's no uh, hydraulics or special uh, equipment need. We directly interface with the machine using the, the CAN system. And then on the roof, uh, we use a GPS, a dual GPS position, to very accurately position the machine on in the model, on the project. Yep. Um, that then gives us the ability to, to then move along the project and and accurately within sub sub millimeter right control the edges and and the steering and the elevation control but we can also interact with the dynapack control system yep. to mix the sensors to the customer's requirements so if we want to customize and match in with existing pavements right we can then use a combination of 3d um, steering some sonics and so there's a very mixed ability in the sensor arrangement can happen on board. Fantastic. So, the big impact of this is productivity, efficiency, and ultimately saving of the expensive material, exactly. getting it right. Get the layer too much, you've got a problem, get the layer too little, you've got a problem. Now it's about getting it right. What kind of impact is that going to have on the end users when they take this machine out? It's obviously saving costs. Yep. So, they can optimize their performance. And most important, they can plan it upfront on what they're going to do, since it's all preparable upfront. So we have the width under control with our sensor systems, we have the thickness under control, and we have a very, very precise overall control of the asphalt mat behind the machine. So I've got the experts. We've taken control of this video, and now we're taking control of the highways to make it better, safer, and to me, more efficient on site. Great to meet you today. Cheers. Thank you, Peter. And thanks for the 3D. Cheers.